I'm on my way up to the roof. Woo. So basically, we're not, I'm not really supposed to be up here, I don't think. And also, I'm not really this oily. I just put sunscreen on and oil on and whatever. So we're trying to get lathered the fuck up for hot boy summer, aka best ball summer. It's supposed to be, I believe, just for the person who lives on the top floor. So my building, my new building, the new headquarters is four units. The landlord lives on the second floor. There's no one on the first floor. Landlord lives on the second floor. We're on the third floor and it's becoming a huge fucking problem. If I could show you the text messages that we've got from the landlord over the last few weekends, I would be surprised if we made it through the entire year without getting kicked out of the apartment, to be honest. Anyways, then there's a third floor. Some famous musician guy lives on the third floor. And then the fourth floor is the top floor. We came up to his apartment for a party like one of the first weekends. We were here and it was a crazy apartment. And I think he, he has like personal access to the rooftop, but I don't think he gives a shit if we come up here during the day. Cool little spot. <laughs> Washington Square Park that way, so that's uptown, northern Manhattan. We're downtown, that is obviously the financial district. I just like hopping around this shit. This is like what I do during the day. If I'm not doing anything, like I've just, you know, I've done all my research for the day and I just want to be a fucking weirdo. These are all different buildings. That's mine. This is a new building. That's a new building. I've actually never seen someone up here before. It's always me just like fucking flying around like a monkey. It's not the same rooftop as the old HQ. The place is a fucking party, but this will do. This will certainly do. Summer is in full effect. It's like 92 fucking degrees in New York and it's been like that for the last two days. It's gonna continue to be like that. I'm about to pass away. Once you accept the sweat, once you accept the heat in New York, you just, you start to thrive in it. Once you understand that you're just gonna be sweating all the fucking time, it becomes kind of beautiful. You just become one with the sweat, one with the salt, and then you just stop showering. You're just like, why the fuck would I shower when I'm gonna get out of the shower and then start sweating? So I haven't showered probably since the last vlog, last Saturday, and that's it. Life is fucking good, baby. hours into fade the fetal dynasty league and you would say oh you're 10 hours into the to the draft how's your team coming along we're 10 hours into the draft and we're one fucking pick into the draft because jordan hoffman who i love he's a longtime supporter he's always the first commenter on all my videos is doing a great job by putting tony and senate in a body bag right now they can't oh i like this look he's he's hammering back at you guys right now i can't stand this fucking league right now so there's not many, many things in life that are as equally like fun and horrible at the same time as a dynasty startup draft because you just want to fucking draft, but they're eight hours in between picks and you never get to pick. I had the 101 because I'm a sharp, flipped it for the 105 for next year's first and third for a 10th round in the startup. So I'm sitting good right now. We haven't made a fucking pick, but I'm already making moves. I would say I'm probably front runner for the championship for the next two or three years, dynasty. So we've just been sitting here for seven hours waiting for him to pick. And the fucked up part about dynasty drafts are they take up a lot of mental space. It's like the only thing you can think about. Because you're like, if I'm not making trades, if I'm not trying to send out trades, if I'm not fielding offers right now, I'm not getting better. You feel like you're missing out. I go to like P and I'm like, ah, I missed out on a trade. Missed out on next year's second round pick. You know? Dynasty leagues are, are, are it's something I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. Startup drafts are a, a war. It's like a battle. It's like one of those things like the guys in your dynasty league, you come out the other side. Like, you feel like you fought a war together. You get that bond. It's kind of like a relationship, actually. I put this in the, in the group before. It's like, um, you know, you start the league and everything's so exciting, right? You just meet somebody and your hormones are going everywhere and things are fun and spicy and exciting because you guys haven't done a lot of things together. And that's like what a dynasty draft is. You know, your first round pick is like the first time you have sex with the person and you're feeling out like, oh, where's this going to go? Where's my team going to go? There's so many options and it's all exciting. Before you know it, like two years down the line, you fucking hate the person. You hate the people that you're in a league with. You want to disband the league. You want to break up with everybody. That's really what I liken it to. So as I said, we're literally one pick into this dynasty league. As you can see, I'm not happy about it. Fuck you, Jordan. 
we have breaking news. Bosco traded up to to the 102, and within three seconds, he makes his pick of who Tony wanted. Tony, who did you want? I wanted Josh Allen. Tony no get Josh Allen, because Josh Allen got picked. I can't believe he went all the way up to the 102 to get Josh Allen, man. What a, what a waste of a pick. What a bust. I would say one-year wonder on Josh Allen. When you look at the advanced analytics, just watch the tape, bro. Just watch the tape. Nick WP, make your pick. So we have a we have an issue with our landlord. We have the little like basketball hoop hanging on our door, and we play it all the time. It's just one of those like things. We're sitting in the living room, we'll just start shooting or fucking yunking on people. And our landlord lives in the floor below us. Actually, I think I talked about this in the intro clip a little bit, but it's becoming a problem now. Uh, where every time we're shooting, she starts texting us about how the apartment building is falling apart. And we're, we're thrashing, and she thinks we're playing full court basketball. It, it, it's very like broken English, so I don't think she understands that we're just like playing a game with a rubber ball, and we're just standing and shooting. And she doesn't get that when we tell her we're just shooting around the basketball, that we're not playing full court pickup basketball in the middle of our fucking apartment, which is like ten feet wide. So she sends us links to different basketball courts around the city. It doesn't matter what time it is. It's like. 10 a.m., 2 a.m., 10 p.m., no matter what's happening, she just sends us links to different basketball courts, which I think is fucking hilarious. She's not trying to be funny, but it's really funny. And then yesterday, for the last time, TJ and Tony were playing, and uh, and I guess she had the last straw. So she texted us and said, Today it started 550 balls bouncing. Thrashing and ceiling is shaking again. And I went up to apartment 3, locked the door. I caught TJ, was with the guy and playing ball. From in front of his door in the hallway, it sounds loudly and bad, and eyeballs are bouncing all over on wall and and floor. Nick was in the bed, and I'm afraid of plumbing pipe, and electrical wires may be dislocated in the building for constant thumping and thrashing for building damage, and and I repeat, I cannot say this with enough em emphasis, thumping and thrashing for building damage, and lives are in danger. She put this in a text message from us playing Nerf basketball. The tenants can't play balls in the apartment. Please, I need a copy of renter's insurance. And she caught us. She caught us in the fucking act. She caught us in the act playing basketball. There's no argument. I would, like, you show that picture to a judge, 10 to 25, right? There's no way we're not getting locked up. I ran into the landlord later in the hallway, told her, listen, I'll, I painted you guys as the bad guys, CJ and Tony. I said, these guys, I don't even know them. They're not my real friends. I tell them to stop. They don't listen to me either. So, like, realistically, you and me are the landlords in this situation. We should actually be splitting the rent that you're making. That's neither here nor here. I'll take the basketball hoop down. I'll be the good guy, right? You got to get in on the good side of the landlord so that when she has a problem, she can come to you. And you can be like, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. And you fucking keep dunking on people. I took the basketball hoop down, and then I sent, I sent her a picture of it. And she sent me back, Nick, thank you. Two smiley face emojis and a thumbs up. I've been addicted to you Goodbye, my lover Goodbye, my friend You have been the one You have been the one for me Goodbye, my lover Goodbye, my friend You have been the one You have been the one for me So... That saga has come to an end until we start playing ball again. Just to let you know right now, to prep for this, I'm thinking of something that pisses me off more than like anything in the world. So you're gonna have to bring your, your B plus game right now. What did the janitor say when he jumped out the closet? Supplies! Ah! 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 <laughs> uh, Try again. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta slap something. I think that makes the whole thing. If you had deli meats, if you were slapping deli meats, I'd be done. I'd be finished. If you had a McDouble, huh? if you slap a McDouble, I'd be in. I'm scared for the calendar. Its days are numbered. Ah! 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 Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I need another one. These fucking. I'm pissed. I'm so sad right now. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's popcorn? Ah! 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 Get the fuck out. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm done. I don't, have, I don't have to be all in. You're never allowed to do that again. <laughs> Ever. Damn. I, I got nothing. <laughs>
I'm pissed. Ah. You were just like, shit. Ah. 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 <laughs> no, it's done. I'm all out. <laughs> you spit that out of your face. Be pissed. It's not oat milk. You I reject it. Ah. Ah. Imagine if ah. I shot oat milk at you and <laughs> your titties just absorbed it. <laughs> right through. You got super powers from it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good ass kid. No, I get you all fucked up. Yeah, no jumping. Steve. Yeah. You know how much respect I don't have for you. I'm drinking in the middle of this vodka. <laughs> Two points for me for loudness. No face. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, I'm just working. You fucking. You fuck. I can't believe you're gonna do this whole vlog tonight. This whole vlog of 45 minutes. Straight, it's just gonna be us straight pacing. You fucking. Never having a vlog camera in your fucking hands, ass intern. Oh, get him. You fucking moving up to Bushwick, ass intern. Get him. You about to move up so fucking high. Nah, you ain't fucking done. I was done. You fucking not getting paid looking like Luigi and Mario ass, <laughs> motherfucker. Get him. You motherfucker going to Bushwick because your eyebrows so thick ass, motherfucker. Get him. You fucking earlobes connected to your head all weird ass sideways <laughs> having, motherfucker. Get him. You trying to be in a Wolverine ass having, motherfucker. Get him. You fucking low top band wearing, same shirt having ass, motherfucker. Get him. You fucking can't afford jeans, got joggers looking like denim ass, motherfucker. Get him. You fucking have a camera on, don't even know how to use it, trying to make a vlog in 45 minutes, can't be saying it. Damn, dude. Fuck. You done lost I'm roasting. You used to be able to go, like, on, that was like probably two for six good ones. Yeah. You'd go 20 for 20. Like I 20, need to be, 20 But I need to be, like, right. drunk yeah. for it. Like, there's another, I need my juice in my hand. Like right now I have anxiety. Yeah. Like you can't I feel it. it. I have too many bills. I feel anxious for you. I have too many bills in it. Yeah, no. Wasn't it. Wasn't it. I tried to force the best out of you there. Yeah. No, I feel like you were like uh you were like Jordan but like the wizard season. Like age forty and I'm like your trainer and I'm like, you can do it and you're like my Achilles is fucking falling nah, off. I, I, you know if I like a, like eight mile and he like you know first <laughs> when he chokes first rows, yeah, yeah, like he just doesn't Ch do it. That, that was me, yeah. Ch choking. And then one day when I'm drunk tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, let's come fucking bike tomorrow night. Get him. Um, actually, we have a lot of we have we have a lot of get get him old people. I can't believe we do a flip and you just hit my mom in the face and she just we perishes. Should, we should. You know how many times we're gonna throw your mom in there? <laughs> I'm gonna throw. She'd hit the ceiling if I had her right now. Hundred oh, percent. Yeah. Actually, our landlord reminds me of your mom a little bit. Oh god, that's not good. But like a way less nice version. Of <laughs>